You may have recently seen talk on social media about an invasive species called poison hemlock that's being found in Ottawa County Parks. Yeah, staff say while it is there, it should really make you fear heading outside. Poison hemlock has actually been out here in Ottawa County Parks for about the past 10 years. And while it can be dangerous, park staff say it's well managed and poses very little risk whatsoever to those out here enjoying the beauty of nature. So this is poison hemlock. Based on its name, poison hemlock could initially leave you a bit tepid about your next nature walk through some of Ottawa County's 7,000 acres of natural land. But don't fret just yet. Just like any poisonous plant, you just need to be aware. In scenic locations like Paw Paw Park in Holland and the upper Makatawa nature area in Zealand, poison hemlock is here. We really are trying our best to manage for it. It is an extremely difficult invasive to manage for. But as Natural Resources Coordinator Melanie Mannion told us Friday, unless you go out of your way, you're going to be just fine in its presence. You actually have to either um, break the stem and get the sap on you, and most people won't even get a reaction, but it's really the consuming it accidentally or on purpose that is lethal. While it can be deadly if you eat it or burn it and inhale the fumes, brushing up against it shouldn't cause any sort of reaction. So going to our parks, which have a lot of poison hemlock, unfortunately, isn't a threat. And the properties that we have it, we do mow them extra wide so that it's not falling into the path. There is more of it this year than in years past. Walking through Paw Paw Park, you will see it. Some upwards of six feet tall with little white flowers. We have been watching it spread throughout Michigan um, by the highways. And I believe personally in our properties, it's spreading by the rivers. With just three full-time seasonal staffers, Ottawa County Parks manages roughly 50 invasive species, so if you happen to run across a small patch on your next walk, don't pick it, eat it, or burn it, and keep your pets away from it, and there should be nothing to worry about. Most people learn about poison ivy very young, and yet we still go out and camp, and we still go out and fish. We just know what to be prepared for. For more information on how to identify hemlock or what to do if you happen to run into a patch, you can check out our website, fox17online.com. For now, though, in Ottawa County, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.